What about you? What you been up to? Been up to much? Just f***ing save all, mate. Work and gym, lad. Yeah, yeah. That's about it, mate. Yeah. Been f***ing so busy, yeah. Just got a few lads off. We're using the holidays. Yeah, yeah. Manic, mate. Manic. What about yourself? Same, just working. Yeah. Sleeping. You've been out recently, G Cross? No, I went out on uh, Saturday. Um, just for a couple, because you got to be in by 10. Yeah. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it just means good people's going to go out early, that's all. Yeah, that's it all day, as man. Buddy, I've got uh, one pallet for you. One yes, mate. Oh, right, but I'm just gonna see which side it's on. I can't see it. Yeah, beautiful day, isn't it? Not too bad. Yeah. Gorgeous. Is that okay for signing the paperwork for you? Yeah. Yeah. What's, yeah, your, what's, your, what's your name, mate? Elige. L e double L I D G. -E. Cheers, mate. I've got seven pallets for you. Sorry. I've got seven pallets for you. Right, okay. See you in a minute. Cheers, mate. Thank you. If your call is for our vet team, please press 1. If you would like to book a groom or have any grooming inquiries, did you know that you can book your grooming appointment online at thegroomroom.co.uk? Stay on the line whilst we find a colleague to help. Cheers, mate. It's just a... Uh... Seven, not on there. Mm. Thank you, buddy. Right. Cheers, Bill. Thank you, mate. Office, Thanks, Bill. I just got one pallet for you, mate. Just got one pallet. Hello. Hi, buddy. Just that one pallet, mate. Which one? The one on the end? Yes, mate. How's it going? All right? Yeah, What's with the rocket? Sets rockets off for like schools and stuff. That's a new one, that. It's the biggest one yet. <laughs> it looks like a, it looks like a two. That's it. It's only just appeared there, that one. Has it? The other one had like the end on it and that, and the spikes. Yeah. Oh yeah. He yeah. doesn't fire that something that size up there, does he? You just fire it, yeah. I mean, yeah. What's the one like that? Put in the paper in that. Has he? Yeah. I've never seen him fire one, but... Surely not some of that size for a firework. Jesus, <laughs> it's like a nuclear bomb. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go to the Elon Musk and tie, the rock, tie that car to it. Yeah. On that big rocket. <laughs> well, I've only got 17 weeks left. What for? Retired? Retired. I've got four sisters and one brother. Yeah. Brother's divorced and three of my sisters are divorced. Yeah. Because, I mean, nowadays people realise they don't have to just stay in a situation no, because no, of... No, absolutely not. And they shouldn't do, it. No, of course they shouldn't. This is just genealogy. You, you know, family trees and stuff Oh, like yeah, that. yeah. She's been doing it for years and she's done family trees for people and that. And you learn a lot about society and that in general. I'm, I'm people that are, you know, marriage and stuff like that. And a lot of it, a lot of people, like you saying, older days, 50, 100 years ago, they stayed together. Yeah. And, and, and killed each other. My grandma and granddad, the one set of them, they're always fucking funny and always arguing, tossing that. When you're a kid, you think, you know, that's the way to be, but, yeah, yeah. you know, I think they stuck together because they had to. Yeah. Society dictated that, didn't it? Really? So when you retire, you're not going to find a hobby and do something for yourself? Oh, yeah, it's plenty of stuff to do, but, um, um, you know, we're just we're doing our own. I'm not sure if you got all of that. I think the battery ran out halfway through. Um, let's have a good chat with him. Um, we were just talking about things in general. And he was saying he's been married for 44 years. And he said he's got three sisters and one brother. And 
because all the sisters are divorced and the brother's living on his own. I think that's what he said. And I said to him, like, are well, you going to have a hobby? What are you going to do um, when you leave? He said, well, the wife's got a list of things for me to do. <laughs> and he was joking about it because we both said that, you know, when you retire, um, if you just sort of retire and decide to do nothing at all, that seems like the fastest way to meet your maker, you know, just giving up and just not doing anything. So he's going to stay busy. And he said, uh, why are you not married? I said, well, I was. I said, but um, I was in like the army for 13 years. And as in, not all, but the majority of marriages, when they leave the army, it just falls apart, it doesn't work. Because um, obviously you've been working away, you work away a lot in the army. And when you leave the army, your partner, your wife, you know, because you live separate lives almost, they've got on with their lives and they've got their own likes, they've got their own routine, they've got their own things that they do in their lives. And when you come back into it, it doesn't necessarily sometimes tally up and it doesn't necessarily work. And obviously when you leave the army, you, you, a lot of guys, and even me, I struggled fitting back into society fitting back into the normal way of life, normal routine. A lot of people, a lot of people who leave the army turn to alcohol because, especially the British army, it's a big culture for drinking. That's how we deal with the stress, we get drunk. So yeah, I mean, he was having a good chat. Having a good chat with the man, he's a really good bloke. But the battery ran out, so... It is what it is. <laughs> uh, so guys, how are you? Are you well? I hope you're safe. I normally film on a Monday, but it's actually Tuesday today. I had to take a truck to get serviced. I had to get the um, a trailer to take and get serviced. So my day was consistent of just sitting in a waiting room and there was no content there at all. I did try, but it just didn't work. So I thought I'd film today instead. Um, we've got a few locations which you've seen already. I'm on my way now to um, a place to get a full load. And then we're, well, we're going to uh, Misguided. I think that's the place where we drop the trailer, drive outside. Right. Get back, get here. Come fly with me, come fly. Come on. Well, you're loading up, mate. I'm gonna put it on brake, okay? Yeah, no worries. Don't All right, buddy. Hey, uh, yes, yeah. It's uh, Papa November '68. Yeah. Uh, BJO. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Thank you, buddy.
just when I thought that was me done, um, phone call. Yeah, we've got one collection for you um, at a place called Carpenters. It looks like a nuclear bunker, to be honest. Um, it's the first time I've been here, so I didn't know where the hell I was going. Um, but yeah, we've just got six pallets to pick up from here. And uh, then that should be it, hopefully. It is now 10 to 5. So hopefully, depending on how quick this gets loaded, I might only be just... Uh, I should be back for maybe 5.30. Fingers crossed. I don't know, bud. It's a bit desolate down here, isn't it? It's like, it's like a nuclear bunker or something. <laughs> what was the place? Do you know? It was solid, didn't it? Was it? Yeah, yeah. How are you, mate? How are you doing? Busy day? Shit. Why? What's that? It's a camera. What are you doing with it? For YouTube. What? I did YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. What are them cameras? Uh, this, this is 300 and about 350, but they brought a new one out. With the front, here's like a little screen. So okay. you can see yourself, it's like 4K. You can speed it up, slow it down. It's really good, very really good quality as well. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they are good, them, you know? Yeah, really good. Very, very good.